Hey guys, Tim here, and just to let you know, it is time that you throw away your underquilt. Okay, not, not really. Underquilts are probably the most comfortable way you can hammock camp. It just is. It's just gonna keep you warmer in general, be a lot less finicky than a sleeping pad. So why would you want to use a sleeping pad in a hammock? Now the first major reason, and not for this guy here, but in general, sleeping pads tend to be a lot more cost effective and you're gonna be able to get more bang for your buck in a sleeping pad than you will a quilt. Another big reason is flexibility. And if you remember my trip out west in the Maroon Bells this summer, what was really interesting is being able to use, have the option to go to the ground if I need to and use my hammock more as a bug, uh, bug bivy, if you will, on the ground than actually sleeping in it as a hammock. And the pad gave me that flexibility. If I didn't have the sleeping pad with me, then I'd be stuck trying my best to find trees. And if we wanted to sleep above tree line, then that wouldn't be an option. So those are the two big reasons why I think you should consider kind of ditching your underquilt, maybe, and going to a sleeping pad. Here's how I do it. A really great tip is to make sure that your sleeping pad is underinflated. So don't make it as rigid as you usually do when you're blowing it up. You can go ahead and underinflate it just a little bit. H how much? You don't want to do too much because in a pad, for example, like the Xtherm, you'll start to use, lose some of the insulative properties. And that is one thing I wanted to mention. If you decide to use a sleeping pad in a hammock, make sure it's an insulated pad. It cannot be a pad without insulation. It might work for the slightly higher temperatures. You're talking um, 60s, 70s. But when it starts to drop beyond that, that's where you really will start to cool off. So you need an insulated pad. This is the Neo Air Xtherm. And like I said before, it's as expensive as an underquilt, but I like the flexibility that it gives me. So the first thing you wanna do, just like in any hammock camping situation, is you know that you're gonna lay on the diagonal. You're not gonna lay straight on. So that's where you wanna place your pad. So you have your sleeping pad in there, so what next? So the first thing of all, just like before, when you get in on the sleeping pad, you wanna make sure you're holding the pad and the hammock, right like that and you're gonna sit right there. So here's the live action look. There we go, so that helps keep the pad in place. And then all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna swing my feet around and lay on the pad. I am too far up on the pad and my head is gonna miss the pad. And so I wanna make sure my feet end this continues to be higher. I can scooch just a little bit. Wow, this is actually really comfortable. For those of you guys who don't know, this is my Dream Hammock Darien, and this is actually the 1.0 Robic. I get quite a few questions about whether or not the Robic is held up, and it's held up fine for me, and uh, it's really lightweight. Check out uh, in the cards right about here. So we have the hammock here, we have the pad down, and we sit. And so that way when you hold the pad, it helps position it so because the pad is gonna slip all over the place. And that's one of the biggest things when you start sleeping uh, with a pad in a hammock is that you'll realize the first time you do it, you'll be like, okay, it's like having butter in the hammock or something. It's just gonna slip all over the place. Once you hold it and position it, the weight will keep it in place. And so then just like before, and, Right now I'm too far up on the hammock like before, and so I'm just gonna scooch myself down. So what I do is I place my feet on both sides of the pad, and I can scooch the pad up, or the other way if I need to. So you can see, I actually don't like how my angle is right now. I'm kind of straight on. I'm not as diagonal as I would like. So how do I fix that? Because I'm already in the hammock. So what do I do next? The next thing is, same thing like before, is you kind of have to twist the pad while you're in it. And now that whew, that is a much better angle. So you see I'm on the diagonal, sitting pretty. The pad is a little underinflated and this is just about perfect. A pretty flat lay and it just, it, this is, I can't get any better than this. 
Now, one thing that's pretty common, I think, if you're sleeping on a pad in a hammock is if your feet actually, once it's in your top quilt, kind of slip off like that, sometimes you'll get a cold spot. If you don't, if you, when you're sleeping, you don't stay exactly on it, your feet right here are just gonna get a little bit cold. So, one workaround for that, I usually will have my Z seat, this is a Thermarest Z, Z seat with me. And so all I do is I put this in the foot box of my top quilt, or if I'm just have like a, just a general quilt, I have that and I position it like that. And that helps keep me, my feet perfectly warm. I'm happy, I have it anyway on most trips. Um, and so that just helps insulate my feet and you can stay nice and warm all night. Now, can you side sleep on this? Definitely, you, you, perf you definitely can side sleep on the, a pad. Um, but I will say sleeping your back is probably the easiest way that you can use a pad in a hammock. Is it the only way? No, but it's gonna be the easiest way. Once again, let me show you that adjustment so that those of you can see. And the key to adjustment is not keeping your feet on the pad while you try to adjust it. It's kind of going off to the sides like this. And then that allows you to move the pad around fairly well. Now another question you might have is do your arms get cold? Because right here, possibly you can get some cold spots if you don't keep it on the pad. So I'm pretty lucky in that I'm a pretty still sleeper is that I can just sleep like this and not move. I mean, it's really comfortable right now and I want to make sure that I, I don't, you know, flail my arms all over like this, but I fall asleep like this fairly often out in the back country and it works well for me. I hope this helped those of you who are thinking about using a pad in a hammock and it is definitely possible. Sometimes it feels like you're gator wrestling inside your hammock. Don't worry. That's perfectly normal when you first get started using a pad in a hammock, but keep with it. It is definitely possible to get a great night's sleep um, on the pad as long as you're ready to slip around just a little bit at the beginning and a little bit of a learning curve. But you guys will do great. Thanks for watching, guys. Peace.